In this video tutorial we can take a look at how to generate real-time rates and print USPS labels using Alex WooCommerce USPS shipping plugin with print label. Let us see, how to get the plugin up and running for your WooCommerce store in just a few steps. Firstly after you install the plugin, you can set your shipping zones and the product dimensions to get your shipping processed well. Once the plugin is ready to be used. Initiate the real-time rates by checking here in the general settings of the plugin. Once you enable the checkbox you get the real-time rates with USPS. The API settings for the plugin is yet another important factor to be considered. Obtain the user ID from USPS. For accessing USPS APIs, you need to register for a USPS account. After successful registration, you'll receive user ID that you need to enter in this field. Also, don't forget to enter the postcode of the sender. This postcode will be used for calculating shipping rates. Next, you go to rates and services. Select whether you want to enable the flat rate boxes and envelopes for your packaging and also choose the flat rate boxes from the list or leave it blank to choose all of them. Once done, save the changes and move to the packaging tab. Select default parcel packing method and save the changes. Go to label generation, in here enable label generation and also the sender address details. Save the changes. Moving on next is to the tracking settings. You need to enable the shipment tracking. And then save the changes. Make sure you obtain the API license key for the plugin and place them here. Get to know more, on how to obtain an Elix plugin and their API credentials. Now let us go ahead and place an order on the store. So you can see, the order and the USPS real-time rates are displayed on the screen in the checkout page. Now once you process the order, you can go to the dashboard and generate packages for the order from the orders page. Once you click on generate packages, you can see the package is generated concerning the product dimensions. Now you can also generate the labels to be printed for the package, by clicking on generate labels. The labels generated can be printed for use. Once the labels are generated you can see the tracking ID populated in the tracking section. It contains a tracking number and the information regarding the live tracking data, as well as an option to delete the same too. When you click on the tracking number, you get redirected to the USPS tracking page which will contain the tracking details of your order. Click on the track icon to see the live tracking data of your package. Now as you know how to get started with the plugin, let us see the other major sections which need to be looked into in the plugin. Let us start with the general settings of the plugin. Enable the checkbox for real-time rates. The user ID section is for accessing USPS APIs, you need to register for a USPS account by clicking here. After successful registration, you'll receive user ID that you need to enter in this field. If you are shipping a high volume of packages, you can avail of the EVS facility. The EVS, or Electronic Verification System, allows high volume package mailers and package consolidators to document and pay postage, including special service fees, using electronic manifest files. Refer the link in the description for more information on EVS facility. The origin postcode is set to calculate the real-time rates. It should be the shipper's postcode. If you are not getting proper rates, not getting all the available shipping options, or not getting any rates at all, then you can tick the enable debug mode checkbox to find the error. You can also see the warnings by our WooCommerce USPS shipping plugin. By enabling debug mode, you can trace issues using log. You can see information about debugging at the top of the cart and checkout page. You can enable test mode to try out your plugin settings, for checking real-time rates or so, and disable it when you go live for accepting real order transactions. Select the shipping classes for which you want to include media mail rate. Read more about media mail, from the link in the description below. Then moving to the rates and services section, we can see the following settings. Method title, allows you to set a custom title for the USPS shipping method. This title will be visible on the cart and checkout page under shipping options. 
Method availability allows you to select countries for which you want to offer USPS shipping methods. Now there are two options. All countries and specific countries provides options to select desired countries. The USPS shipping method will be available only in selected countries. Show rates allows you to choose when the real time rates should be displayed for the customer. You can choose to show rates whenever they are available or even choose to display only when customers enter their destination postal code on the cart page. Shipping rates allows you to choose the type of shipping rates you want to offer. There are two types, use click and ship rates and offline rates. Use click and ship rates upon selecting gives the to set the shipping rate same as what is printed on postage online using click and ship for specific services. Online rates are discounted prices. Find out more about them, in the link provided in the description below. Use offline rates, is selected, then shipping rates are normal post office rates. Online rates are lesser than offline rates. Next is setting up the estimated delivery day and cut off time. You can choose to enable the estimated delivery date and choose any day or days from the list as well as the cut off time. Once the cut off time is specified, the delivery will be calculated from the next working day. Next is the rates API settings. Choose the standard API services and enable the same. Choose your rates preferences from retail rates and commercial rates. Enter a value in the fall back text box. Whenever USPS fails to return actual rates, then this rate appears during checkout for shipping rate allowing customers to easily check out without any hassle. Next is the flat rate settings. Flat rates are not supported for label printing. The boxes and envelopes field offers the option to use USPS flat rate service for shipping. It charges a single fixed rate for a service, regardless of any destination within the country. It provides the following options as seen. Yes, enable flat rate services, this option enables flat rate services which in turn enable support for USPS flat rate boxes. Flat rates are hard coded in our WooCommerce USPS plugin. There are no USPS API calls made to get flat rates. No, disable flat rate service, this option disables flat rate service. Enable priority flat rate services only, enables only priority flat rate services. Enable express flat rate services only, enables only express flat rate service. You can choose the flat rate boxes, leave it empty to select all or choose the ones in the list for selected options to be displayed. You can also choose custom names for the express flat rate service and the priority flat rate service offered if required. To initiate a charge per flat rate box, you can put in a value or a percentage value in the flat rate fee box. Leave it if you do not want to charge any. Offer rates let you return the user with all returned rates or the cheaper ones. You can see all the shipping services provided by USPS here. Also if you want to input price adjustments then you can include it here as an amount or a percentage values, which will be applied. So once done, save the settings to move to the next tab. In here, we set the packaging data. In here you can see four types of parcel packing is available. They are Pack items individually Pack into boxes with weight and dimensions Weight based And weight based improved Pack items individually help you to pack the items in individual boxes and ship. The next option where pack items into boxes with weight and dimensions helps you to pack items into custom boxes with certain specific dimensions. In the weight based items with a maximum of 12 inches in length, width, or height are grouped for packaging. The total weight of these grouped items is passed to the USPS API to get the real time rates. But items that are larger than 12 inches in length, width, or height are packed individually. In the weight based, improved, option, the weight of all the cart items is summed up and items are packed with maximum weight limit in the boxes and passed to API to get rates. In addition to this, you can specify the process of packing, that is, you can pack heavier items first, pack lighter items first or pack items purely divided by weight. There is a possibility that an item or more may remain unpacked because the available boxes cannot accommodate it. 
It is also possible that item size or shape is not regular so it cannot be clubbed together with other items. To take care of such unpacked items, use one of the options in here. Get a quote for the unpacked item by itself, this option gets the shipping rate individually for each unpacked item. Ignore the item, do not quote, this option neglects the unpacked item. But you get the quotes for the packed items. Use the fallback price, this option uses the fallback price which is mentioned in the rate option settings. Abort, do not return any quotes for the standard services, this option does not give any quotes. You do not even get the quotes that are returned according to the customized box dimension. Moving on to the label printing options. You can see that the USPS plugin, works only for USPS EVS account. If you want to process your regular USPS account, you can make use of the stamps.com plugin, the link to get to know the plugin is available in the description. Shipping label, you can choose to enable or disable the label generation option by selecting the required option from this drop down list. Default service for print label, with this field, you can set default print label service according to requirement. The available options are, none, to select default, priority, first class, retail ground, media mail, and library mail. Print label size, with this field, you can set the size for print labels. Print label type, with this field, you can set a required file format for printing the labels. The available options are PDF and TIF. Extra services, these extra services combine with USPS services listed in the rates and services section. The plugin offers the following extra services as listed here. Hold for manifest in here we select either a yes or a no for holding the manifest record for possible inclusion in scan requests. Get to know more about it from the links in the description. Sender details, enter sender name, company name, address, email address, to trigger email notification while creating shipment and also the contact number. The plugin also provides advanced options. To enable large flat rate box option to set the container field as a large flat rate box. Also allows to select the type of package in this drop down list. Based on the content type selected, additional rates will be added to the product price in the request. Following content types are supported by the plugin. Merchandise. Gift. Document. Sample. Return. Humanitarian. Dangerous goods. Moving to the shipment tracking settings. Shipment tracking, it provides information to customers about the route of a package and the anticipated date and time of delivery. The available options are enable, disable, and disable for customers. Upon choosing to disable for customer, the tracking information does not display on the customer page. Mode to enter tracking ID is used for either automatically or manually entering the tracking ID when given to packages when they are shipped. When selected automatically, the tracking ID is added to the tracking number text box upon label generation. When you select manually, the admin has to manually add the tracking number to the box. Custom shipment message, allows you to set a custom shipment tracking message. Leave the text field empty for default message. Watch the video tutorial link provided in the description, to know how to track USPS shipments in WooCommerce, with Elix WooCommerce USPS shipping plugin. The license tab is used to enable the plugin by using the plugin API key obtained from lextensions.com. Learn more about on how to purchase and install plugins from lextensions.com, from the link provided in the description. With all these basic settings done successfully, you can start using the Elix USPS WooCommerce shipping plugin and track the information on your items and also generate labels. Thank you for watching. For more interesting plugins please visit www.elextensions.com. Read more about our interesting plugins here. Please feel free to subscribe to our channels.